How's it going guys? In today's video, we are going to be talking about the iPad Air 2 in 2024. Now this was released a while ago. It was released 10 years ago now, which is just absolutely insane, specifically in 2014 on October 24th. And um, when this came out, this was um, kind of an interesting tablet because it had a couple just different things about it, such as a pretty upgraded chip, upgraded RAM, but it was a little bit of a different upgraded chip. It didn't use the typical A8 chip that something like the iPhone 6 used at the time which was released. It used an A8X chip, which is a little bit different, but I'll get all of that into this video. Um, but for today's video, this is what we're gonna be talking about, so let's get started. Uh, before I start this video, I do wanna say, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. We are just doing absolutely amazing on the amount of subscribers we're getting. It's just crazy, but make sure to keep subscribing. Make sure to like this video if you think um, I'm doing well, and don't like this video if you think I could um, improve, and tell me why I can improve. Anyways, let's get started. So, I bought this iPad Air 2 about a year ago with intentions to sort of use it as a media machine and maybe to take some notes and maybe to use it as like a second uh, laptop, essentially. Um, which, in the end, I think overall this iPad isn't really the best thing for all of uh, those purposes now in 2024. About a year ago, I would say it was sort of a better uh, machine for all of that. But now I have a little bit of a different view of it after using it for over a year now. So let's just first start with some of the really good things. And so let's just start with this design. This design's very timeless, I would say. It's really nice. It's very similar to even the new iPads, like the iPad 10th generation, and um, which is actually the iPad that I have now and is my main uh, media machine and note-taking machine. And yeah, this is just a very nice looking tablet. It's, uh, you know, this is the gray version, and you can see right here we have the camera right there. That is an eight megapixel camera that can record up to 1080p video. Then on the front, we have a 1.3 megapixel camera that I believe can record 720p video, 720p video. And so overall, what I'll say about this design is that it's very familiar and it's very sturdy. It's actually very, very light compared to something like an iPad 2. So overall, I really like this design. And also we have the uh, volume rocker right there. We have the power button at the top. And then obviously we have the lightning port and we have uh, two bottom firing speakers and no other speakers. So only bottom firing speakers. Now let's talk about this display. This is a pretty great display, actually. That's one thing I'll definitely say about this iPad. It is an impressive display. It's a 9.7 inch display with a resolution of 1536 by 2048, which honestly is crystal clear, extremely clear. As you can tell right there, there's no pixels that you can see. It's a retina panel, and it is actually extremely bright. Well, I mean, it's pretty bright for an iPad, and especially impressive for something that is uh, several years old, over 10 years old now, which is just absolutely insane. Now, this iPad is, um, in terms of its performance, let's talk about some of the performance of this iPad. This is the Apple A8X chip, which is a little bit different from the A8, being a little bit faster, a little bit overclocked, as well as two gigabytes RAM instead of one gigabyte, which was on the iPhone 6. So this is actually pretty good, more comparable with the iPhone 6S. So at the time this was released, this was one of the most powerful tablets ever. It was very, very uh, powerful and extremely impressive performance. Now, that's not really the case in today's standards, but it was at the time very powerful. So, how is this iPad in 2024 is the question. This is, um, it's not great. Um, what I would say is that for basic uh, standard um, tasks, 
like web browsing or watching Netflix or YouTube, it's totally fine. It's totally passable. It's fine. However, for any other cases, it's not going to do too great. For 2D games, it'll do fine. For 3D games, it'll do okay. Um, but then anything extremely intensive 3D games, um, it won't do well on. So, for example, Call of Duty, it won't do well on. In terms of other games, maybe like PUBG, it also won't do well. So anything that's 3D and pretty graphic intensive, it won't do too well. But any basic 2D games will do fine. And honestly, it does hold up a lot better than other tablets from this year. I mean, there's no Android tablets uh, holding up as well as this is what I'll say. And also another thing that I'll say is that even though it's not on the latest software, it is on iPadOS 15.7, which honestly really isn't that old. So you're going to be able to play almost all the games um, and it's almost all supported as it is with the newer iPads. And um, so that's one good thing about it. And I will say when you're going across the home screen and things like that, it's not too choppy and it's not too bad. But I would say for, you know, those really intensive games, it's really not great. And so if you really want this iPad as like kind of a productive um, sort of tablet, then you want something a little bit more powerful um, than this. I will definitely say that this is definitely lacking. And down the line, like one or two years from now, it really will start showing its age. Now, let's talk about this camera. We have a uh, 1.2 megapixel camera on the front and an 8 megapixel uh, camera on the back. So let's actually start with the front camera. So yeah, it's 1.2 megapixels, can record 720p, 30 FPS. So as you can see right here, and one thing I'll definitely say about it is that it is extremely mediocre. It's uh, not great. When you, here, let me zoom in a little bit. Um, you can kind of see here, let's take a uh, test photo right here. And uh, when you're looking at this, there's a lot of noise. There's a little amount of detail. However, what I will say is that it's not absolutely terrible in terms of its colors. It's not too overexposed. So that's some pretty good things about it. But it is extremely average and mediocre. And the only thing you'll want to use this for is something like a FaceTime or, you know, like Zoom calls. Because in that scenario, it really won't be that noticeable that you're using a camera that is pretty low quality. And uh, from afar, I guess it's not terrible. It's just a low amount of detail and a high amount of noise. On the back, we have an 8 megapixel camera that can actually do HDR and 1080p at 30 FPS which is not great. This is the same as the iPhone 6, and um, the photos are extremely mediocre. So let's just try to take a photo right now. So obviously this isn't like a daytime photo or anything like that, but looking at uh, this, so uh, we have some LED lights here and it's pretty overexposed. There's a high amount of noise, not too high though. It's actually not too bad. And the detail is okay. It's just uh, mediocre at best. It's not going to replace your top of the line Android phone or iPhone or anything like that. But actually from afar, the colors are actually very accurate. And what I would say is that overall the camera is just okay. And if you're trying to do something for like a school project or maybe even a YouTube video that you don't really care too much about the quality, then this will be totally fine. Let's talk about this battery. This battery is um, starting to really not do well. Um, now I've used this for a little bit, so it kind of makes sense why it's not doing the best. But even then, when I first bought this, the battery honestly is just as good as an iPhone XR or something like that. You don't get that much screen on time, maybe five hours. So it's not even as good as like the newest iPhone. And obviously that kind of makes sense because this is a pretty old product. But even then, there's other iPads in the past that are really old, such as like the iPad uh, 2 or um, some other iPads that are much older than this and have a much better battery. Um, this is because they compromised on how thin this is. And at the time, they didn't have the technology that they have now where they can make it this thin and still have good battery life. And even though this is extremely thin, but the problem is, is that 
it doesn't really matter because um, the battery life is really lacking on this. So when you're watching YouTube videos or watching any kind of media, it kind of just lacks in terms of its battery, especially if you're on a long flight. So overall, this almost feels just like a big iPhone. And as a result, when I had this iPad, I felt like I was just using my iPhone more than my iPad, like much more, even for times when I totally could use this iPad. So is this worth it for the price of about $100? I would say if you're really looking for an iPad that is extremely cheap, this is probably one of the best options for around $100, but I would highly recommend upgrading to something that is a little bit better than this. Maybe a baseline iPad 9th generation or even the 10th generation that I have, which has better battery life, a better camera, and a better screen. So as a result, I would say that even though this is technically worth it, I wouldn't exactly completely recommend this tablet unless you're looking for something that you don't really mind the battery life that's a little bit shorter and you just want something to watch a lot of media on or maybe to do some schoolwork on. It'll do the job. However, in terms of thinking long term, this isn't that worth it because in one to two years from now, this iOS will definitely become more obsolete. And even though it's pretty good right now, it's pretty speedy, and most of the games are supported because, and you can download them because it's a pretty recent iPad OS, it's definitely going to start lacking in one to two years. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think of this iPad Air 2. Would you buy it? And make sure to subscribe to the channel, and um, that's about it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more videos and peace out.